Skynet, for the page of 11 o'clock news in this, late Tuesday night, October 20th, 2015. Good evening, everybody, I'm Peter Wiggins, I 11 o'clock news and lines there. Top straight 11 o'clock in this, late Tuesday night, there is... Representative Paul D. Ryan, Wisconsin, moved close to the last speakership on Tuesday, telling fellow Republicans that he would consider taking a job if he could be assured that the caucus would stand beyond him. Justin Trudeau, the national son of political legend, Pierre Trudeau, ushered in Canada's first political dynasty with a stunning victory in the national elections. In New York, an NYPD officer was shot in the head Tuesday night by a gunman in East Town. Police sources said the officer took a bullet to the report as he and another officer chased a man who was riding a bicycle East 120th Street at FDR Drive around 8.45 p.m. Vice President Biden seemed to change the account on Tuesday that the role that he played in the White House debate surrounding the 2011 raid that killed Osama bin Laden. Family members of Boynton Beach, Florida drummer Corey Jones 31 said he was shot and killed by a Palm Beach Gardens police officer early Sunday. In Sokolu, South Korea, the couple approached each other warily as if unsure what to say after all what's the aspect of a husband you have been seen in 65 years as Korean families let tears speak for themselves. U.S. and European Union representatives asked Tuesday for increased cooperation in this response to Europe's refugee crisis. Kabul, Afghanistan, days after overrunning the major district in the northwestern Afghanistan province of Faryab, the Taliban killed at least 22 police officers and captured the district security chief along with many of his men after they ran out. A four-year-old girl was shot in the head and killed during a road rage incident in Albuquerque and Tuesday police said this should have never happened. Ahmed Hanna, an urban Texas teen arrested after a school mistook the coffee made for a bomb, will be moving with his family, according to various reports. San Francisco, San Francisco supervisors vigorously reaffirmed the city's status was a sanctuary city on Tuesday, nearly four months after a woman who was killed by a Mexican new national who has been released from jail to fight federal workers to detain him. Elizabeth New Jersey, a drinking man in one of Lehigh Valley's bloody shooting sprees, killed four men in New Jersey before coming to Eastern Island Town and killing three more people in an prisoner rampage of 40s set on Thursday. Sydney Asian shirts eked out cautious gains on Wednesday as concerns about corporate earnings off the Wall Street while investors counted down to the Europe's central banks. Policy meaning later in the week as now down 13.43 points of close at 17,217.11. SP 500 down 2.89 points of close at 2,030.77 in NASDAQ. Down 24 and a half to close at 4,880.97. Technology and engineering companies have long had an image problem when it comes to work life. Found thought to be hard driving intense coach with the all night hacking found that jobs will become synonymous always on work. My years, Crawford and Annex have dreamed of owning the Friday. Now they can own at least a piece of the company that the sports car manufacturer press its initial public earnings. Of a public offering at Tuesday at $52 a share at the top end of the expected price range. ESPN and the sports cable network owned by Walt Disney Company plans to cut as many as 350 jobs according to the Bloomberg News, a reduction of about 4.3% of its workforce cut me in that. Early Wednesday, the report said cited the name sources. In San Francisco, a drop of the very thing that protects and prevents skin damage from a sun's harmful UV rays can do an irreversible harm to the Earth's previous and precious coral reefs. A skyscraper sized asteroid will fly by Earth on Halloween, according to scientists to say that the object was only discovered 10 days ago. Our place in the universe is a country in Laugh and Nerf Vault to have created technology savvy rates that is now looking at our technological savvy intelligence bubbling in our galaxy. I've in the national debate over breast cancer screenings, American Cancer Society issued a new guidelines on Tuesday and the most women that start annual mammograms later at age 45. And they get fewer over the lifetime. Colin Spencer went from patient and counsel thanks to the new psychiatry program to help patients with psychosis. A brand new study advised that food allergy reports at an all time high, and such as health officials now are advising their parents to introduce allergenic foods. Like the notorious peanut to the children's diet as early as possible. Geneva, a UN panel is considering a way to hold government to account for the failure to stick to global health rules, World Health Organization Director General Margaret Chan said on Tuesday. Pierre Chell News, I'm 104, 10 out for a sports report here. The Wheaton Lions field hockey team ran into a Babson and Beaver buzzsaw as they go out, played an out, nod by the Beavers. 5-1 to one tonight in Northern Field and not near. In Major League Playoff scoreboard, New York Mets are leading the Chicago Cubs 5-2 and 7-8. And the Kansas City Real Stump, the Toronto Blue Jays 14-2 as now they take a three games one lead in this best of seven series here. 
an NHL score there. It is Washington Capitals lead in the Calgary Flames 4 1. New Jersey Devils over the Arizona Coyotes 3 2. New York Islanders blank that Columbus Blue Jackets 4 0. Pittsburgh Penguins over the Florida Panthers 3 2. Montreal Canadiens over the St. Louis Blues 3 0. Dallas Stars over the Philadelphia Phillies. Dallas Stars over the Philadelphia Flyers 2 1. And Natural Predators over the Tampa Bay Lightning 5 4. Seattle Seahawks running back Fred Jackson crashed his sports car near the team's facility for fallen practice on Tuesday as Jackson drove his block for on a large plunger box and a stop sign driving him to sign across the two lane road. The annoying Patriots need to take care of and extra care of the bodies this week. Get the cold up for a few extra minutes. Get that extra bottle of drink plenty of water as Bruce and Jets will be sent Patriots with challenges. Peter Challenge News on level 5. Time for a Trevor report here on this. Late Tuesday evening. Let's take a look at the traffic situation here on this late Tuesday night here. 95 on the northbound side, so the Pawtucket S curves here. 120 on the southbound side, so for Route 9 in Wellesley, all the way out to Route 125 in Needamir. Route 3 on the northbound side, so for Route 18 in Weymouth, all the way out to the Braintree Split. On the Mass Park, we get an accident on the westbound side around Route 495, so expect some delays here. Mass Park on the eastbound side, so we're all so we're sorry, out to downtown Boston due to an accident on Mass Ave. Just around the area of Route 9, so expect some delays here. Route 1 and the northbound side is a little slow around the Topin Bridge. Mass parking in the westbound side is slow around Route 1A here in Logan Airport of Boston here. 495 on the southbound side, a little slow between the mid and Haverhill line here. Otherwise, a smooth sailing coming up here on this late, late Tuesday night on highways and byways in New England there. Okay, let's take a look at what is going on in the MBTA alerts here. Civil on Nelson Fox Space Minor Lays due to traffic. Civil on Nelson Fox Space Minor Lays due to traffic here. Got meter rail. Looking good. Ferries are looking good. Pitcher Channel News Time, 1107. Time off our water port and we're seeing some spotty rain shots off the Cape Down there. Spotty rain shots way off the Southern Main Coast and we're seeing a little dab of a sprinkle south of New Ashford, Massachusetts here. And zooming out and seeing some beautiful little rain sprinkles east of Ashgrove, New York, and stretch around East Alton, Vermont, there. But otherwise, it's a cloudy and overcast overnight. As we take a look at our forecast, it goes like this here. Tank, Moscow's got about 400 degrees. Southwest, about 3 to 5 miles an hour here. Wednesday, slight chance of shot after before 11 a.m. The chance of sprinkles after 11 a.m. Most of God's got highs when 61 and 63 degrees. Line available wind, chance of pain to 20%. With that, patch back up to 2 a.m. Otherwise, most guys got a low out of 400 degrees and black southeast wind. Thursday, slight chance of showers after 11 a.m. Punch three miles before 8 a.m. Otherwise, punch the sky about 69 degrees. Light south wind, Kevin. South west around 6 to 11 miles per morning. Winds get cut side 26 miles at chest page to 20 percent. So that, chest of showers main before 11 p.m. Most guys got about 44 degrees. Southwest about 7 miles coming northwest around through midnight. Chest page to 30 percent. Friday, Sunday, most guys got about 34 to about 32 degrees. Saturday, most guys got about 56 to about 39 degrees. Sunday, most guys got about 6 degrees, about 41 degrees. And for Monday, most guys got about 59, about 36 degrees. And for Tuesday, part of got about 54 degrees. Now, current conditions here in North Massachusetts, 60 degrees, but the most guys got humidity of 65%. And that is going to be it for the Peter Channel 11 o'clock news in this late Tuesday, 25 October 2015. Peter said, Good night. See you tomorrow morning with more important. Good night.